Well, Steve, commiserations. Hard lines. I'm not quite sure how you've managed to not get anything out of that game. Yeah, me too. Me too. It's obviously, you know, a disappointing um, result. I don't think it's a disappointing performance. I think we've played well tonight, um, you know, in some ways as well as we've been in, in recent weeks and, and months. So um, I'm disappointed with the goal we conceded because it's a real feature of um, oh, Huddersfield score from crosses on the left-hand side with Toffolo. He hits them, them flat sort of crosses and into them areas that, that they scored from and we did a lot of work over the last two days so to not adhere to what we've uh, what we've worked on is is, is disappointing um, and then of course you know really from from half time at Middlesbrough to the um, to the end of this game you know it's, it's it's not good that we've not scored because we've created more than enough chances to to do so and um, I think that's where the frustration lies of course but um, but I, I also see a lot of good things today and a lot of things I really liked and I won't lose sight of that yeah there are I mean there are ways to lose a game aren't there and if you're going to lose a game yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you want the performance well, I don't feel to... like that but yeah. yeah but no like I said I've uh, I've got you know you look at the process of how the game went and um, and we've played well tonight you know we've played really well and um, and that's good because that's how we want to play but you want to play that way to win games so that's what we need to continue to, to look to do from the moment you went behind, it was one-way traffic, wasn't it? I mean, within five minutes of going behind, I think you'd had three efforts on their goal. Yeah, yeah, we should have scored. You know, there's no no, no doubt about that. But uh, but uh, yeah, you know, we could talk all day about um, about the missed chances and the goal we conceded. It's happened. Um, I will look at the game thoroughly as I always do and 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 see the the good good bits from it. I think there's a lot of. But what's really important is. Um, I heard some of the players there about say, keeping the heads up and keep going and things like that. I agree with that because we, we've played well tonight. We just haven't got what we deserve. The best team lost, that's for sure. We saw Philip Zinkenagel come off and, and looked absolutely crestfallen when he was substituted because he was magnificent, wasn't he? Yeah, so? he played well tonight, Phil, uh, really well. And it was only legs that, that he came off. Um, it's, it's not an excuse. I don't want to talk about it too much, but it's been, it's been a difficult sort of week, really. Um, you know, that, that with with COVID and obviously we've picked up some injuries and things like that, and certainly that's no no excuse. But um, um, but yeah, it's been been a difficult one. Is it affecting the first team now as well? Because I know you yeah. said it was with the academy. Yeah, it's early. riddled through through the club. You know, we shut the academy down as you know a couple of weeks ago, and I think every department has at least one person off, including the playing staff. Um, and um, and yeah, and and you know we're fearing a little bit that it's all, it's all to come. In the next yeah. few days. That's tough, isn't it? Because you've already got six out injured as well. The last thing yeah. you need is that. It will be, yeah. It will be, yeah. yeah. But, you know, we've we've sat on a bus for six hours to Middlesbrough and, and obviously back. You sat in dressing rooms and things like that. So, um, yeah, listen, we'll get on with it. No, you know, I'm not going to dwell on it, but um, but it's been, been disruptive. But anyway, let's talk about the game. Lads play well tonight. You know, disappointed not to win. And, um, and we, we move on. Yeah, you mentioned keeping their heads up as well, and, and that's important, isn't it? That they do take well. So, there's so many positives to take out. Of yeah, it. and also what's what's interesting for me now is I'm going to see the, the players in a different challenge, you know, which which I, <coughs> excuse me, I haven't been able to see yet. And um, you know, we are trying to build a way of playing, but we're also trying to build a winning mentality and a culture. And you, you only learn about that when you see players in all sorts of situations and I've seen them have some highs recently and now there's a couple of setbacks so it's going to be really interesting to see the lads and observe them and see who really really wants to be here and who's really you know able to play at this club that said considering where the club was you turn the, the you turn the year in with a chance of making this season a real success yeah I mean if yeah I mean um, we, we just keep going um, I won't lose sight of the fact of where we were when I first when I first came and you know but um, I'm OK, yeah, you look at the league table, but I'm also interested in how we build the team, how we build the culture and the club, how we improve everything you know, that needs improving on, which is a lot, to be honest. So um, there's a real commitment to, to everyone. I just want the club to really grab hold of, of everything and, um, and be high-performing, you know, every department. And there's work to do. There's a lot of work to do all over the club on that. So uh, we've just got to keep going. Big month for the recruitment side of the team, of the club. Yeah, yeah, I think that you know, we'd like to see some, some players come in um, particularly as we've got injuries, but you know we're trying to build a team for now, but also for the future as well. And um, we, you know, players that come in, hopefully, will be able to, to you know, have an impact in both of them scenarios. And um, that's what the plan is. Do you hope you might get business done early? I mean, there are reports. Well, so, yeah, yeah, uh, and Davis yeah. I've just said, yeah, week. yeah. I haven't heard anything official on on that, but um, uh, yeah, you, you want to get 
if, if players are going to come in, the earlier the better because they can play in games, they can commit to the training program, they can they can um, just be a you know a forest player um, quickly. So um, yeah, the sooner the better, really. Can you just have a word about Jed Spence because he was one of the last players to leave today, and I just wondered whether or not he might have been saying goodbye to the city ground. Oh, I don't know. Not heard anything. I hope not. <laughs> I've not heard anything. No. You've not heard anything. Nothing. No. Okay. So as far as you're concerned, he'll be here. Yeah. For yeah. As I've always said, we, we know that he could go back. We know that um, he's not the only one. You know, the long players that could go back, and until then, windows come and go. Um, we work with the players and we get ready for the next game.